In this video, I'm going to show you the exact process I use to make 500 extra dollars a week using Facebook Marketplace. I'm going to cover how to find deals, how to negotiate, how to list, and how to sell. Also, make sure to stick around until the end of the video. I'm going to actually flip an item to show you how it all works in practice. So the first step in flipping items on Marketplace is finding your deal. Now, the trick here is to niche down and have a couple different types of items that you search for specifically. The reason you're going to niche down is because if you're just scrolling the main page, then typically you're not going to find a good deal. If it's a really good deal, somebody's going to snag it before it even has time to get to that main page. And so that's why you want to have specific things that you can search for. As far as what to pick, you can do shoes, you can do couches, you can do weights, you can do video games, you can do clothes. Whatever it is, you just want to make sure that you have some sort of knowledge on it or you can get some sort of knowledge on it. Like for me, I mainly flip weight plates and video games because I know the market well. And so once you've actually chosen things to search, go ahead and search it up and then you sort by newly listed. That's going to show you in order the most recent listings with that specific niche. And the quicker you can actually see the listings, the better chance you have of snagging a deal. But how do you actually know if it's a good deal? So if it's anything that's shippable, you can go on eBay, you can search the exact item that you just saw in Marketplace, and then sort by sold. And that's going to show you the most recent selling prices for the item you're looking at. For example, if you see someone listing a DS game on Marketplace, go to eBay, type that in, sort by sold, sort by newly ended, and then you will see the most recent selling prices. And if it's significantly cheaper on Marketplace, then you know it's a good deal. Now, as far as larger items that aren't shippable, so people aren't really selling them on eBay as much, like a couch or weight plates, that takes a little more time to figure out how much it's gonna sell for. One way to do it is just by watching Marketplace, see what goes quickly at a certain price. You can also sort by sold on Marketplace and see what is selling for a specific price. Unfortunately, the best way to learn how much those types of items are gonna sell for is just to buy one and start flipping. And once you actually have an item listed, you'll, you'll get a feel pretty quickly of what it's gonna sell for in your market. As far as weight plates, which I've had a lot of success with, if it's an Olympic plate, which means it has two inch holes, those typically sell for about a dollar a pound, but I would stay away from the uh, one inch plates because those don't really sell for nearly as much. So after you find your deal, then you're moving on to the negotiation. So if something is a really good deal and it's just been listed, you have to understand a ton of people are gonna be messaging them about that. So that's not where you'd wanna to try to bring the price down. Imagine if you had 20 people message you about an item and one of those was saying, hey, could you do it for $50 less than what's listed? Probably not gonna go with them, right? So the same concept applies if you're buying. So if it is a really good deal and it's just popped up, just message them, hey, I can pick up for the selling price with cash today. And that's going to set you apart. That's going to make you the most simple buyer. And so they're more likely to go with you. Now, if the listing has been sitting a while, maybe it's a bad picture, maybe they have the wrong title, whatever it is, if it's a good deal, but it's been on marketplace for a couple of days or a week, that's where you can negotiate price down. So you want to use basically the same line, but it's a little bit different. So, so let's say something's listed for 200. It's sat for a week. You would say, hey, would you take 150? I can pick up with cash today. I would recommend not going crazy low on the offer if it's a good deal because then you might lose it, but try to shave some money off if it's been on the market for a while. Now, obviously when you're finding a deal, you wanna have common sense. If something seems too fishy or too good to be true, or they want some weird payment or whatever, just don't do it. It's not worth it because you could easily get scammed. And when you do go to get the item, make sure that it's in a public place and that you're comfortable meeting them there. If you really wanna play it safe, most police stations actually have an area in their parking lot specifically designated for stuff like this, so you can go there. So once you have your item, then it's pretty simple. You just have to relist it. This really isn't complicated at all. Just make sure you have good pictures and a good title. And then once you have that, just make sure you have all the settings with Facebook right. As far as the pictures, they don't have to be professional. Just make them as good as you possibly can. So for example, here is a bad listing and here's a good listing. So you can you can see the difference. You don't have to go crazy getting the pictures or make some elaborate title. Just make sure it's very clear what you're selling and it looks professional in some way, shape or form. All right, so now moving on to the sale. So again, this is pretty simple. When you list your item, list it at a price that you're willing to go a little bit down on, but don't try to, let's say you think your items worth 200 bucks. Don't list it for 300 because then people aren't gonna message you. List it for like 225. So you're still comfortable if people bring you down to 200, they feel like they got a good deal, but um, you know, still close enough to the price it's actually worth that people are messaging you. So if you list it and within the next couple of days you're getting a bunch of messages, stick firm on your price because it's probably going to sell pretty quickly. If it's sat for like a week and hasn't really had many messages, go ahead and get different pictures, delete the listing and relist it. 
and maybe even with a lower price. But um, if it's still not selling after that, you just have to rinse and repeat and you may lose money. I've only lost money on like two deals in my whole, I don't know, career. But because once you understand the market, you're not really going to lose money. But starting off, it's possible you do. And so just cut your losses, get rid of that item, get the cash back in your hand and go do a better flip. And again, when you meet people that you're selling to, be in a place that you're comfortable with, make sure it's public, make sure they're not sketchy, all that stuff. So that's pretty much all there is to it. So now I'm going to show you an example of an actual flip that I had. So a couple days ago, I saw this deal pop up on Marketplace. And it was basically a guy selling a squat rack, a barbell, plates, and then a bench and all that stuff. So I wanted just the barbell, the weight plate holder, and the weights. And so I asked him how much that would be. He said 50, which was honestly a lot cheaper than I was thinking. And so I said, yeah, that's cool. All right, so I just picked it all up. And so it was two sets of 35 pound uh, weights, and then one set of 10 pound weights, a barbell, and then a weight plate holder. And so basically uh, it's got 160 pounds of weights and then a 45 pound dumbbell or barbell. So that'll probably sell for like 160 to 200 ish. Um, the weight plates are typically gonna sell for a dollar a pound. So that's 160 right there. And then the barbell, you could probably get 30 to 45 out of that. So about about 200. So we'll see, uh, we'll see what we get out of it, but pretty good come up from $50. All right, so when I got home, I got it all listed. And so I'll go ahead and throw that listing up on the screen. I listed it for 225, nobody messaged me at that price, so I lowered it to 200. And then I had an offer come in for 175, and I went ahead and took that. And I probably could have got the 200 if I held on a little longer, but I was just ready to get rid of it. So we went from 50 to $175, and it took me three days to flip that. So that's pretty, I mean, that's really how simple it is, but it's all about knowing how to find the deal. And so if you have any questions, you can comment them or DM me on Instagram at Caleb Pullman. And with that, if you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.